here I'm going to go over how you can figure out what your investment balance is going to be after so many years. Um, so let's say you sell something and you have an extra $500 and you decide to just go put it in the bank um, and they are going to give you an annual interest rate of 7%. And they say that that is compounded annually. So that means every year they're going to calculate your interest and add that to your balance. And then the next year they're going to compound your interest and add that to your balance. So that interest is being calculated on the interest from the previous month in the balance. So it's interest on interest. It's being compounded. Um, so we wanna figure out how much money I'm gonna have after eight years. So this is a simple table that you can make on Google Sheets. So it's showing me at zero years, my balance is $500. So basically after one year, I don't just have $500, I get to add the interest that the bank is giving me and calculate my new balance. So since I'm adding that interest annually and since they are giving me the annual interest rate of seven percent then all i'm doing is taking seven percent and multiplying it by my previous balance so seven percent times five hundred dollars so i could do that on the calculator or here but i'm going to use a formula instead so i can copy and use that formula for the next years as well so i'm going to press the plus sign so they know I want to use a formula, and I'm going to do 7%, which is 0 0.07, and I'm going to multiply that by my previous balance. So I'm going to click on that cell there, and you get $35. So let's see what we did here. So in this cell, you can see the formula. It is 7% times J2. That's this one. It's in column J, row two. So now I'm gonna calculate my new balance, which is gonna be the 500 plus the $35, which I just know that's 535. But again, I'm gonna use a formula so I can copy and paste that formula in the following rows. So I'm going to take my previous balance, which is always gonna be right above it, and I'm going to add my interest for that year, which is always going to be directly to the left. There you go. So I'm going to copy my interest and balance formulas. And when you do, you get this. So I just copied and pasted it down through year eight. And so you want to double check whenever you're copying and pasting a formula, make sure that um, it is what you want it to be. So if I look here at year two, in this cell, it is 7% times J3. So 7% times the previous year's balance. So J3, that's correct. And then I can look here at this cell, and this is taking my previous year's balance, which is J3, and adding my interest, which is I, Four. J3 plus I4. So that is correct as well. So this shows me that after eight years, my balance in my, my investment here is going to be $859.09. So over eight years, I've made about $350, which is pretty good.